Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last video, I show you uh, that my ad, my XG transport is actually already, already available on Google Play Store. So if you haven't downloaded that, feel free to go to Google Play Store, hit the download button, install it on your phone and play it on your own. Uh, this app is actually a public transport tech tracking app in which you can track all the buses, train, uh, traffic conditions, uh, taxi, and uh yeah car park bicycle parking and so on so um the main purpose of this tutorial is uh to show you how you can actually make use of kiwi uh, framework and python to build an app like this all the way from scratch so in order to do that you will have to first set up your environment in your laptop in order to do that so i'm using window and um i I actually thinking also to actually release this app to um, App Store one day but unfortunately I do not have a MacBook and uh, I'm still uh, trying to save some money to get a MacBook uh, in order to also uh, publish the app to the App Store in future and you will probably also need an iPhone for that and for now you know um, this is what I did I, I just uh, publish it to the Google Play so I hopefully one day I can do it to the App Store as well so why I'm using Givi is because uh, Python is getting so popular nowadays Python can do so many things machine learning data science data analysis building a website and app is not a problem at all and Givi is one of the uh, framework that offer a lot of great features uh, Kiwi, KiwiMD, Kiwi Garden there are so many things that you can use in order to fast make the whole process of uh, making the apps so fast that you can actually create a uh, uh, working app in just one day. So as mentioned, it's a cross-platform app. You can just go to Kiwi.org to read more about what is Kiwi. And um, just by writing code in Kiwi, you are able to deploy it on your window or even to uh, Google Play Store and App Store. So this makes the reason why you want, you want to learn about Kiwi if you really want to build an app. So if you have a lot of ideas in your mind, what kind of apps that you want to build, uh, getting in touch with, with Kiwi is definitely one of the options, uh, one of the best options I would say. And uh, of course there are so many other framework in, on the market, but uh, I think Kiwi is easy to learn. I just spent about three months to learn about Kiwi and I managed to create a full stack app and I definitely learned a lot, about, learned, learned a lot of things about Kiwi I think yeah it's easy to learn so uh, let's get started um, to actually set up the environment in your PC and I'm using Windows 10 so uh, what I'm using as uh, IDE is uh, Anaconda so Anaconda is uh, uh, actually offering a lot of uh, um, IDE uh, including Visual Studio Code so I will be using Visual Studio Code and go to the anaconda.com slash product slash individual and then if you are using window uh, you can hit the uh, this uh, Python 3.x 64-bit installer but, but um, I think Kiwi is uh, now uh, more stable with Python 3.7 and therefore we are not going to use Anaconda uh, with uh, Python 3.8 and therefore we are going back to the old package list don't worry I will be putting this link on the uh, description uh, in the YouTube video below uh, description of the YouTube video, video below so uh, just go to this uh, docs.anaconda.com slash anaconda set packages so you, you'll be able to see all the old package list of Anaconda and we are actually looking at Anaconda package that will offer us Python 3.7.4 for example well you can use 3.8 or 3.9 I think nowadays uh, they are all compatible with uh, TV already but uh, if you are the beginner I would suggest you to just follow along with me to use Python 3.7 because I don't think 3.8 and 3.9 are pretty uh, stable with Kiwi so so what I'm going to do is uh, just come to this uh, uh, 
package just included in Anaconda 2019.10 for 64-bit Windows with Python 3.7. Just hit this button. You will see uh, all the packages that are available under this uh, version of Anaconda. So in order to download this installer, you have to come back to the top, hit on the Anaconda installer archive, and then look for Python 3, Anaconda 3, 2019.10, window x86 underscore 64. Hit this button. And right guys, so when the installer is downloaded on your desktop, uh, you can go to the downloads folder and then you can double click on the uh, Anaconda installer in order to install Anaconda 3 on your uh, laptop. Click on next. I agree. Next. Next. Install. And this is going to take uh, like probably five minutes in order to install the Anaconda onto your laptop. And while waiting for that to complete, uh, we can go back to kiwi.org. And if you click on download, installation on Windows. So um, if you read, uh, you can read through this, uh, this page to have a better understanding of uh, Kiwi uh, packages. So uh, we are going to install the stable GV release, which is 1.11.1. And um, after we have uh, successfully installed uh, Anaconda, uh, it actually doesn't come with GV. So we have to manually in install GV into Anaconda so that when we use the Visual Studio Code uh, in Anaconda, it will be able to run the GV packages. So. What we need is what we need is a Kiwi one point one one point one, and in order to install that, um, you can go to uh, this pipe.org uh, slash project slash. Uh, actually, if you go to pipe.org, I will just show you how to how to do that, and then you can search for Kiwi. So, and then you can see that there is a Kiwi 1.11.1. Just click on this button and then download files. So, what we are looking for is actually a wheel file uh, for Python 3.7. So, if you come to here and then, yeah, this is the one that we are looking for because I'm using 64 bit. If your window is 32 bit, then you probably want to download this. So, what I'm going to do is to hit this. Uh, um, download button and then this one will be available in my download folder so other than kiwi we will also need uh, the package like uh, sdl2 and also glue um, you don't need streamer for this case because uh, we are not doing any audio or video kind of thing uh, in our app so uh, what we need is only the SDL2 and also glue. So we will do the same uh, in the pipe.org. We just search for a uh, glue and then what I will be downloading will be 0 0.3.0 and then Python 3.7 version, which is this one, 64-bit. Uh, then I'm going to download this. Same for SDL2, Python 3.7 in 64 bit don't worry i will be putting the link uh, in the description below so you will be able to get the right file so once we have this we come back and check uh, anaconda uh, installation is still in progress so um, the next thing we are going to use is a Givi garden uh, we want to use the flower uh, one of the flower in the Kiwi Garden is called Map View. So as I have shown you my app in the last video that we will be using Kiwi Map View quite often in a lot of pages in order to show the location of the bus, bus stops, bicycle parking, car park, traffic images and so on. So uh, definitely we want to install Kiwi Garden. 
And if you want to read more about Kiwi Garden, what is Kiwi Garden, you can just go to google.com, search for Kiwi Garden, and then you can go to the uh, uh, Kiha repository to read more about different kind of uh, yeah Python packages that you can use. Mapview is just one of it. There are some other flowers like drag and drop, uh, graph, speed meter, interesting, context menu, and so on. So the one that we will be using is the map view, which is used to display uh, interactive maps. So you can read more about this and then uh, yeah, we're just going to install map view. So what we need to do is uh, we can say uh, pip install kiwigarden.graph Instead of graph, you will change it to map view then the rest of it. So we'll show you how to do that, do this later. So we come back and check and see that our installation of Anaconda 3 is completed. Click on next and next and then finish. And then if you check your desktop at this point of time, you will have an Anaconda shortcut icon. Just double click it. It's going to take a while to start for the first time. I'm waiting for it to start. So now we have the Anaconda Navigator available. So these are the all the uh, environment that you can use uh, for data science purposes like Jupyter Lab and Jupyter Notebook, uh, R Studio, and Orange are also for data science. So we are going to use Visual Studio Code, which is one of the famous IDE. And before that, let's go to the environment. Oh, come on, it's a little bit slow on my PC. So if you search here for Kiwi, you won't get anything because as I mentioned, uh, Kiwi doesn't come with Anaconda. But um, we are smart, so we can install that ourselves. So what I'm going to do is just come here. Oops. Come here. Search. And then Anaconda Prompt. So you saw that, Anaconda Prom, right click, run as administrator, yes, so this is what you get, and then we go back to our download folder, you can see that these are the three uh, wheel files that we have downloaded just now, if I click this and I copy the name of this wheel file, well, no, first thing I need to uh, cd change directory to the download folder. Oops. Wait a minute. Copy address. CD. Hmm. Mm, doesn't allow me to copy the address. Let's see. I want to go to this directory, so CD C colon slash users slash y slash downloads. Okay, so you can close this. So now I am in the download folder, exactly this folder. And then I can say 
and check pip install this one dot whl enter then it's going to start to uh, download the package that we need installing successful read kv 1.11.1 so we do the same for the other two SDO2 and the last one which is the glue pip install VHL cool now we are done we can actually close this and also close this oh I think I missed out one so we, we go back to the anaconda prom again right click run as administrator yes cd users okay all right so we missed out one which is kiwi garden and what we need to do is to pip install kiwi garden dot map view is your graph you want to install the map view map view and then i think the rest of it we will just leave it as it enter successful cool so now we can actually cross this and we have all the packages that we need and if we come back to anaconda navigator go to home and then launch the visual studio code So this is some script that I have written beforehand and if you can see uh, we say from gb.app import app and then from kiwi.uix.label import label and then from kiwi underscore garden dot map view import map view and then we create a class called man app our python file is called man.py and then we actually uh, inherit app from kiwi.app so we create a function called build and then label is equal to uh, this label method uh, in which the text is equal to hello and markers and then return label and then we say we instantiate this class and then we run it so if you hit the run button over here if you have installed all the packages correctly this will just run and then pop up a window like this hello I'm Marcus so if you manage to get this which means that you have successfully installed all the environment and the packages correctly as what I did if not go back to the video watch it again make sure you get the same thing as I so I'm gonna explain more in the next video about all these Kiwi code and I'm not going to start scratch from the beginning of how to build a home page and if you're inter interested hit the subscribe button like the video and i will see you in the next one